Hey everyone, it's me, Jen. This is part two of designing a mug from start to finish. So, let's get this started and show on the road. Let's go back to Canva. And, <clears throat> excuse me, in Canva, we're going to put custom dimensions. Alright, before you do this, let's go here. You want to find out what size the pixels are for whatever print-on-demand servers you use. I use Printify. It's a great, great, great site to do print-on-demand service. It's an awesome site. They have all kinds of different mugs and just items that you could do. And it's freaking awesome. Alright, well, let's go to my favorites. And here's my favorite mugs right here. I usually just do this one, the white ceramic mug. Comes in two sizes, so I like it. Come down here, start design. And then it's 27, 16 by 1145. That's how big our image is going to have to be. So I'll show you how to do that <coughs> right now. Excuse me. All right, so twenty-seven, sixteen by eleven forty-five px. You have others, but make sure it's on px pixels. Press create new. All right, since we saved our image onto our computer already, we're going to upload it now onto to Canva. So we go up to here where it's cloud, where it says uploads, and it says upload an image, and that is what you do. So upload this image. I'm a dodo. There's one right here. We'll just delete that. We don't need that one on there. Alright, click on it. And bring it over to here. Alright, because in this box, the Canva in this box is pretty much right here. This white area right here. This is why I like doing the mugs in Canva. Sizing them. Is because of this all right and I usually go a little bit over okay let's duplicate that let's put it on this side and there you go and then let's name it put the size of it first and then <clears throat> The name. And this is why, because I have in a world full of roses, be a sunflower in fifteen by fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred by fifteen hundred. That is why I put the sizes first to all my images right there. Because then I know which size is for which. Alright, well let's download that. PNG, transparent, and then download. Alright, now we can get off Canva. And let's open my folders, go to downloads, 1500, 15. I know it's on here. Oh, okay, there, right here. Okay, we're going to open this in paint.net because. 
you need to make sure that your images are at 300 dpi so that's what we're going to change this resolution to 300 dpi so go to images resize the image is already size we want we just want to change this right here to 300 and make sure it's on pixels pixels and inches and then press ok and then press Control S to save it. Okay. And that saves it uh, over the picture. All right. You could also go to File and Save, and it will do the same thing. And then press OK. All right. You could X out of this. X out of here. Come here and add your design to Printify. Upload new image, upload from a device, and then here we go, open, <coughs> excuse me, select it, and we can preview it, here's what it looks like on the mug. Pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. Left. Yeah, I like it. So, let's go back to edit. Make sure it's at 300. 300 DPI, good resolution. And then just press next. And then we're going to press, I like to do the right, and then press next. And then we'll put be a sunflower. Alright, now this is how I do my descriptions because I've already pretty much got them typed out in my description, so I'm just going to copy and paste it real quick. So do this one. You come down here. I don't redo it. I already have everything pretty much right here. So copy that, which will be Control C. Let's copy. Come back to Printify. Take all that off. Press Control V to put on there. So Control C to copy that and put in the front. Now with this title, I will make it much longer. And in um my store I'll go edit and make it much longer because you want your title to be long and with keywords okay so but for this video I'm just gonna leave it right there all right after you've done all this come over here and press next <clears throat> excuse me and now price it out my 11 ounces I sell for $11.99 15 ounces, 12.99, 12.99, and then press next, publish your product into store, your Etsy store, and then select your shipping cost, Printify shipping cost, already have it saved, and then press save and publish. Oh, I wonder why it's not doing it. It's interesting. Let's reload that. It's probably why. <clears throat> Excuse me. Printify is funny sometimes. Here. 
All right, I'm going to pause this video real quick and see how to fix it. All right, let's try this again. Now, save and publish. And there it goes. And that's how you save and publish it. Somehow, Printify logged me out and wouldn't let me publish it to my store. So, now that it has, let's see in store. Let it load. It's probably got so much stuff open. Okay. And there it is. And then you could go in here, edit right here, edit your keywords. Your down here, you know, edit your keywords and everything. Do some mock-ups and you'll be good to go. So I hope you, this video helped you. If it did, <clears throat> excuse me, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and stay up to date on all my videos. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Peace out all.